when you close your eyes and create a sense of well-being inside. You think of the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. They're the ones who gave the example that we follow. They said this is the way true happiness is found, by training the mind. The world tells us that true happiness is found by getting this and getting that. But you can get a lot of stuff and still be miserable. The important thing is that the mind be content, that the mind have a sense of well-being, of its own goodness. That's why they said that the, the way to true happiness starts with generosity and virtue and meditation. Because you train the mind, otherwise it's a victim of its greed, aversion, and delusion. There was a time once when the Buddha was sleeping out in the forest. It was a cold part of the year. And the next morning a young man came and asked him, Did you sleep well last night? And the Buddha said, Yes, slept very well. And the man said, the young man said, But this is the coldest time of the year. The wind is cold, the ground is hard. And you, yet you still say you slept well. And the Buddha said, Well, suppose there was some, a man who had all kinds of wealth, a nice house closed against the wind, a good bed, and yet would it be possible that he might not sleep well? And of course, because there might be greed, aversion, and delusion would come and set fire to his mind. So that even if he had, as I said, four wives attending to his every need, he'd still be miserable. But the Buddha was, has said that greed, aversion, and delusion doesn't exist in him, and therefore he can sleep anywhere and sleep at ease. There was another time where a king became a monk, and he was sitting out under the tree one day saying, What bliss, what bliss? And the other monks were afraid that he was thinking about his old time as a king. So they reported this to the Buddha. The Buddha had the monk come and see him. And the monk was saying, Well, I was thinking about how when I was a king, at night I would, still wouldn't sleep well, even though I had guards inside and outside the palace, inside, outside the city, and out on the countryside. Still I would wake up in the middle of the night for fear that someone might come and attack me. But now I sleep under a tree and my mind is free, and this is why this is the bliss I think of, the freedom that comes when you find a happiness that depends only on the fact that you've trained the mind, and that's all you need. So these are the examples we follow. These are examples that get shed light on our lives, so they realize, okay, true happiness is, comes from training the mind. So when the body gets old, okay, you still got your trained mind. Even when your memory goes, at least the habits you've developed as you've trained your mind, they're still with you. And that's where true happiness can be found. 